So, Cisco. Hey. Uh, we had a really big moment yesterday. Did we? Yeah, we did. I think we did. Because what happened was I was sitting in the game lab, <laughs> yeah. minding my own beeswax, like working on a script or something. Twitters. Or something, doing mm -hmm. something productive. And then in walks Cisco, and what do you say to me? You say, you say to hey. me sheepishly, you say, hey, Nick. Can I play Spelunky? Can I play Spelunky? So for those of you who don't know, we did a live stream of Spelunky. Uh, that's kind of my go-to game and has been for years now when I just want to play a thing, when I want to mm -hmm. play something engaging, but I don't want to start something new. Yeah. Uh, and you've seen me play it a couple of times, but yeah, last week was the first time you were like, let me have a try. And after like 10 minutes of you saying just one more go, we eventually reached the point where I was like, we need to stream this. So if you, you can watch, I think if you click here, there's like a, you can see the archive of me and Cisco's uh, Spelunky live stream, yeah. uh, which resulted in some charity donations from our audience and from Do myself, which is really exciting. Shout out to Cisco. I don't want to spoil the ending, but some stuff happens. Um, but you came back this week and still wanted to play. Yeah, and, but it you're, was fun, I guess. Yeah, so what, like, what is it that made you a, want to take the controller the first time, and B, what has you coming back to Spelunky? Well, as you know, Nick, mm -hmm. I like to talk shit. Yes. <laughs> and be good at video games. Mm -hmm. And Spelunky was like, Psh, And it enables you to do one game. of those. Yeah. I can, two of those. I can beat this. Yeah. And also, <laughs> be good at it. And it's, I think. Which I was. You're, well. I mean, I got. You I, learned quick. I will, you learned quick as hell, I will give you that. You got good at Spelunky faster than most people do, but you still make dumb decisions all the time <laughs> when you play Spelunky. But I, I, you said something interesting, which is that 2D, like it looks very cartoonish yeah. and very childish. And like at first glance, you could totally mistake Spelunky it's for just like. like it, oh, this is just like a basic, fun little platform little, game. Yeah, everything's so cute. Stuff happens, you get flubbed up, you arrows. Do. Arrows flub you. Those arrow traps. And that's, Spooky I think that's the first big lesson Splunky teaches you is like always, always, always be scrutinizing that first stage for arrow traps. Right. That's the first time it just punches you because that thing deals two damage. That can I screw know. up your whole run. Wait, two damage? Two damage. The arrow trap deals two damage. And sometimes like I'll be in the middle of the stage and I feel like I won't get hit, but then I'll have three hearts. And mm. it's like, what the fuck hit me? Something. Something. I mean, the thing about Splunky and you're gonna have to come to terms with this, I think, is that it that Spelunky doesn't make mistakes. You make mistakes. I mean, I've got Spelunky I make is all fair. The mistakes. No, Spelunky is I feel fair like as a hell. A lot of luck goes into Spelunky because you were getting lucky runs, and I was getting dark levels, spooky levels, yeah. spider levels. I, I'm Not sorry. my fault. I just don't agree. I like I know how to handle a dark level well, or a spider level. That's because you put like a million hours into right. the game. I totally. put like six. Exactly. Not six. And you'll you'll get to the point where where you can like handle a dark stage. But like, I think that the lesson that Splunky teaches you, mm -hmm. and by you, I don't mean people, I mean you specifically, <laughs> is patience. And uh, like, because as soon as things start going well in Spelunky, I find it's really easy to get super cocky and overconfident and just start right. running around and being like, fuck, everything's great. Humble. It does. Spelunky keeps you hum humble. And I'm, what interests me about you and Spelunky specifically yeah. is that I, Counter-Strike is the game you've played for more than a decade. It's yes. the game you play more than any other game by landslide. You pretty much don't play games that aren't Counter-Strike. Yes, no. But the way you talk about Spelunky reminds me of the way you talk about Counter-Strike, because you're like, oh, fuck this it, game. It's a shitty game. I hate this bad it, game. I hate it, mm -hmm. but I want to be good at it. Yes. And I don't know why. I don't know what it is about Spelunky that makes me go, I need to keep playing this so that I can prove to other people and mm -hmm. myself that I can do it. It's, you know what it is, I think, is that every time you die in Spelunky, and by this time I mean you, by, by you I mean everybody, when someone dies in Spelunky, they're like, yeah. I could have avoided that. I could just one more try and next time one I One more try and I'll get to the fucking ice world. The way that it lays out your mistakes in front of you after you die, it's like you were killed by a frog. You're like, oh, well, I could have avoided that. It seems like a no brainer. And then yeah. you're like, just one more go, next time I'll be careful. And it just seems so easy. It's like just, yeah. Just don't, like, don't your, get hit. your smash thing. Don't fall off the thing. Yeah, don't fall off the stage. Don't get up. Don't die. Just be a not shitty player and mm -hmm. you'll beat it. And it's like, no. Do you, so, I don't know, man. It's just, I, it's so rare in the time that I've known you to see you latch onto a new game. It doesn't happen often. <laughs> no, it really doesn't. Um, and I, it sort of is giving me ammunition for my argument that I think Spelunky is like one of the best games of the past five years. Like there's something it's, special it's, about it. It's pretty good. It's pretty, it's it's just like there's nothing else. Like Super Meat Boy, that game I don't care about. I'll play the first five levels and be like, whatever. Huh. Spelunky, I'm playing the same goddamn world over and over because I can't get to the fucking second one. 
and I still keep wanting to go, and so I don't know what it is. For you, what's the difference between Meat Boy and Spelunky? Like, what's the thing that's different between those two that keeps you coming back? Is it the procedurally generated levels? Is it, like, the fact that you learn something new every time? I think it's like Counter-Strike in that it's super dynamic. Mm. There's, it seems so simple on the surface. Yeah. Like, Counter-Strike people just look at it and it's like, you just shoot people, it's the same levels all over again. But a thousand different things can happen yes. in that same level. Well, Spelunky levels are different, but there's a thousand different elements right. to like get through it that you have to avoid. And those elements can interact in ways that you've never seen them yeah. interact before. And the punishment is fucking real. Yes. Counter-Strike, you die, your team has one less team member, you lose money. Well, you have your weapons wasted. Spelunky, you die, you have to start over from the beginning. Yeah. I mean, to your point about it, about learning, like, I feel like every time I play Spelunky, every time I die in Spelunky, pretty much, I learn a new lesson. Mm -hmm. Which means that I have learned thousands of lessons over the course of playing Spelunky. Like, I had a, when we were playing together yesterday, we had a run where um, there was an arrow trap in front of you and you didn't have something to throw in front of it to, uh, to set it off, but there was a pile of like three bars of gold and I told you, if you whip, whip that, you can make it fall. So you whipped it, the no, gold no, no, fell no. down, whip it and <laughs> it set off the arrow trap and I was like that's a totally valid strategy for disarming an arrow trap in the first world that yeah. has never occurred to me in like five years of playing Spelunky and like I've learned lessons well I've seen myself in Spelunky while I'm playing it being like I'm making the same goddamn mistakes I'm making in Counter-Strike where oh, I keep really? thinking that I can do a thing like in Counter-Strike for example if there's a match where I'm defending B and it's just not working out from this one spot mm -hmm. where I'm like determined no I can do it from here and then I lose three rounds because I keep getting killed at right. that spot it's like no but I just, if I just keep doing that Splunky same thing it's like well maybe this time I'll not get hit by the arrow trap if I do this thing and I get hit by the arrow trap it's over humbling, and over again like you I know. said it's like I need to stop being an idiot for a second <laughs> here and maybe reevaluate the situation I think people react very differently to Spelunky when they come into it but one reaction that seems to be pretty universal is anger. And I yeah. think an important thing to realize when you go play Spelunky and you get mad is you're not really getting mad at Spelunky, you're getting mad at yourself. I know. That's the that's the core truth of Spelunky. Because it's that no one people, else's fault. Right. It's no one else, especially in Spelunky. Because right. Counter-Strike. You can be like, oh, my team sucks, yeah, whatever. No. And they usually do, and they're hackers. Statistically, you know that can't be true, right? It, no, it definitely. Your team can't usually suck. True. Whenever unless I you have lose, a curse. it's my team. Okay. I'm All right. cursed. That's I guess I'm cursed. CS logic. I'm a troubled superstar. <laughs> but in Spelunky, <laughs> I'm not playing against goddamn other people. I'm playing against spooky skellies, which sometimes aren't spooky. Mm -hmm. And all I have to do is make sure and check. But you sometimes I don't. And then I get spooked, and I lose a heart, and I get mad at myself. That's, I mean, like, it's the little things like that, right? Like, treat every pile of bones like it's a potential skeleton. That's mm -hmm. helpful both for Spelunky and for yeah. life. Likewise, treat every ceramic pot like it has a spider in it. That's another Absolutely, useful life 100%. tip. Absolutely, 100%. If you, is or a, a scorp, a spooky scorp. Yeah, look out for scorps. Because if you whip a pot and you're standing on that pot and there's a scorp inside, yeah. you're in trubs. You're in super trubs. That's And you know, I learned pretty quickly, maybe I shouldn't break the pots open when I'm standing on the goddamn pot. But I did it anyway, like still playing five hours into the game. Why? Because I guess I'm dumb. I, dude, <laughs> I play Spelunky. So my history with Spelunky, I'll give you the short version, is I used to have a job in college where yeah. I sat at a, the front desk of the dorm room from like midnight to 5 a.m. a few nights a week and didn't do anything except for be on my computer. <laughs> so I would listen to podcasts and play the original 2D pixelated game maker version of Spelunky. Um, and I've, that means that I've been playing for like five years and I'm like, I still will lose in world one based on dumb mistakes. Like, I know. It's, it's unbelievable how- It's just insane that- It makes you feel so dumb. We don't have just the switch to be like, hey, don't do that anymore. Mm -hmm. And then we just keep doing it. Oh, and it then, just makes me want to just punch myself in the face. But then it's perfect too, because if you get too cautious and you slow down too much, that's what the then, ghost oh, is for. Oh, the spooky ghost. Right. Which is fucking bullshit. It's, oh, it's so frustrating. There's so but many it's things. only my fault. Oh my God, but there's so many little lessons. The, the hardest part for me, and I think we should end on this, is like it, watching you Play Spelunky, I try not to tell you everything because I want you to learn these lessons yourself. Like, but I are, bet it's frustrating. There's things about the ghost that are crazy. The, the pro players want the ghost to show up for certain reasons. I won't go into any further detail than that. No, -uh. it's it's way too spooky, and it'll kill you. Why would you want it to show up? There's just it's so funny because when the XBLA and I guess now PC Vita PS4, when this new version of Spelunky came out, everyone was kind of like, 
or I at least was kind of like, oh, this is just the same game, but prettier. Like, no, the amount of depth that has been injected into every enemy, every item, every weapon. Like, there are whole weapons that I feel like are totally underutilized. We had Derek Yu come into the office a few years ago mm -hmm. and do a Spelunky run. You can actually find that video probably up here. We'll post that or something. Uh, and he said in that video, he thinks that the pitcher's mitt is the most underutilized, like, slept on item. I don't item even know that that's a thing. Yeah, the pitcher's mitt is amazing. I've started using the pitcher's mitt. I feel like since. the shotgun is the best thing. Cause then you shoot people. It's, yeah, but then like your your mobility is lowered because you're always carrying this big item with but you. You have a gun. You do have a gun. You're killing a lot of stuff, but like, is it worth it? No. Anyways, Maybe. Spelunky is game of the year every year, and a great Halloween game too. It's a, it's real spooky. Yes. I thought that it was like, did they patch this ghost in because it's Halloween season? No. Apparently not. It's just no, a part of the game. It's just a spooky spooky ass game. And it, and you know, it's not just spooky, atmospherically and aesthetically. Sometimes. Some, sh some shit will happen that you don't expect at Spelunky and you'll just end and up screaming and shrieking and being like, oh god! It's also spooky in that it spooks me how bad I can be at a video game. <laughs> it's very annoying. That is the very frustrating. Perhaps the, the, the spookiest thing of all. The scariest lesson of all. One last thing also, uh, we're gonna be streaming the Metroid Spelunky mod, which if you haven't seen Blunk it, Troy. is, that's not what it's called. You can call it that if you want. Um, but we're gonna be streaming that together and getting really mad at it. So if you wanna see these two people who just talked about Spelunky for way too long, get mad at a video game that looks like another video game, uh, right down here is the information on when you can catch that stream. We'll be yelling and sh getting whipping. Getting angry, whipping, whipping on spook. Zebus as Samus. It'll be Metroid as hell. There's this energy drink called right. Overcharge, mm -hmm. and it's being debuted by this company, Fizzco. Uh, and on its debut night, a bunch of people drink it, and they find out that it actually turns people into mutants it when they sure drink does. it. It sure does, yes. Um, OD is the name of the enemies in this game. Mm -hmm. um, but you play as the hero, uh, male orc.